Hello, Carvel and I are really excited to announce the release of Easy Video Lab 2.0.8. This is our first release candidate. So what do we mean by release candidate versus beta? So beta has been something we've been in for about a year. And really that was more about kind of giving you a preview, um, kind of letting you play with and see what's coming. Uh, whereas release candidate is saying, hey, we're still in beta. We still have some things to fix in the nooks and crannies. But in general, this is very, this is useful for creating, you know, every day you can, we recommend its use for creating video. And we know that it's solid because we've been using it ourselves for a couple of weeks now to create video ourselves. So um, now this release candidate is, is going to be a little bit more solid. You're going to, you know, less uh, changes to the user interface and stuff like that. It's mostly now about uh, fixing any final bugs and so forth. So um, with this, uh, I'll go ahead and kind of pour over Easy Video Lab a little bit here, just kind of show you what's brand spanking new. Now, if you start off with Easy Video Lab, you have your installed assets. It's gonna open up with the templates folder and whatever templates you've put in that folder. I've got not just the included assets uh, templates, but also the, some templates from Emotional Video Kit, which we re recently released, and also the Power Pack. And I'm going to put more in here as I, I get some time to do it. But uh, you can see the defaults of that. I can do keyword searches for any of the templates if I wanted to, or just kind of you know click through, of course. And I can just you know open something. Now I want to actually go ahead and show you that you still have the ability to do what we had before, which is really search in any folder. And I'm going to go ahead and do that because I want to show you uh, one of the cool brand spanking new things that, that Carvel just added. This really will be a time saver when you're doing video production. So I'm going to do a search here in that folder. I, I already kind of had it queued up. Now this is a collection of templates by Christian Ryland that's unreleased. It will hopefully be released soon now that we've got everything cleaned up. I'm going to open one of his templates here. I happen to know that this one has three text animations in it. It's the same text animation over time. You can see that it's a followed phrase animation. Now, right off, notice that it's popping right to the first, the middle of the first text animation, and it automatically has that animation open here so that you can get started editing it. Now, this isn't actually what it looks like when it develops in this case. You see that what really is, if I play the timeline here, it's really going to look like that. But um, you still see that I can get right away started to editing that text animation. Now I can click on the timeline and you can see that it, it just automatically to that next text animation. We also have something up here called text nav that allows you to kind of pop between them as well. So I can go back and forth. And so really what I can do is I can open it up and just edit the first one, hit the text nav, edit the second one, you know, and so forth. And then be just really quickly customizing the template for my needs, exporting and moving on. And so really we're uh, trying to make that uh, process of making your videos as fast and efficient as possible. We really, as a, overall, we were just trying to make it as much of a joy to create videos as we possibly could. Um, so things like, you know, the user interface for the text animations, I'm just going to go here. You can see that we've really cleaned this up. Um, Carvel has created this awesome managed color palette feature, which allows you to create a color palette that is, you know, it's using color theory designed to match whatever video scene you're working on. Very cool stuff. Rotating and, uh, you know, keyboard shortcuts to move around the timeline and the zoom and all that kind of stuff. So it's just really designed to be much more usable. So we're looking forward to seeing what you can do with Easy Video Lab 2. Just I'll quickly kind of point out, we have you know the new animation designer, which is a much more comprehensive animation tool. Ability to import QuickTime MOV overlays with transparency. We have the static image, which used to be called layered image uh, and so forth. All the text animations, of course and so forth. So really designed to be much more efficient. So we look forward to seeing what you come up with with Easy Video Lab and we hope you enjoy using it as much as we do.